Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making a classic Cantonese dessert, almond jello. So let's get started. So let's uh, review the ingredients here. I have a package of uh, Arga Arga, and this is a plant-based uh, gelatin made from a seaweed. It has no flavor, no odor or color, and it's going to set a little more firmly than uh, regular gelatin. This is water, I have uh, whole milk, sugar, and almond extract. Okay, so um, the only prep we really need to do is um, portion the Arga Arga and let it soak in some warm water for like 15 minutes. And for this recipe, I only need a quarter of the amount here, so I'm just gonna cut it. I'm just eyeballing it, really. I will just simply soak this in the water. Okay, so that's it. Just let it um, uh, sit for like 15 minutes and then we can start uh, making the dessert. Okay, so uh, let's start making the almond jello. This is the uh, rehydrated arga arga, and it looks like this. It's softened up quite nicely. And in the pot here, I have six cups of water coming to a boil. I'm going to add the arga arga. And we'll let that melt. I'm just gonna whisk it a bit. And you can see the viscosity of the gelatin thickening up the water already. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. Okay. Whisk it around a little bit more. I'm gonna turn it down to low. Adding the milk. So I'm turning the heat back up to a medium high. Blend the milk and the water together. We'll add the sugar. I'm using half cup. And as with any recipe, you want to adjust the seasoning to your own taste. If you like it a little sweeter, just add a little more sugar. I'm going to taste it. And that's sweet enough for me. So we're just going to let this come to a very soft boil and turn the flame off. Okay, so that's it. Turn off the stove. And we're going to add the almond extract. It smells great. Give it a taste. You can adjust the, um, the flavoring. I think I like a little more extract. Okay, so this is done. Okay, so what we need to do next is uh, strain jello into a bowl. And this is just to catch any uh, gelatin that hasn't melted. Okay, so now we're gonna pour the gelatin mix into a shallow dish. And next up, you see all these little foaming bubbles? I'm gonna take a paper towel and just run it on top. And that's gonna remove all the bubbles. Okay, so now the almond jello is ready. We'll let it cool for like at least half an hour before we set it in the fridge. It needs to chill and set for three, four hours. So we'll be back. Okay, I just uh, took the almond jello out of the fridge. And as you can see, when I shake it a little bit, you, there's no jiggle. So what we're gonna do is take a, a paring knife and we'll cut it at an angle. And repeat it in the opposite direction. And this is gonna create like a little diamond pattern. Okay, and then I take a offset spatula, run it through, and you can see that it's nice and firm. This is a nice uh, dessert to bring to any uh, family get together. Once you do, they'll ask you to bring it all the time. So we'll serve it. And the classic topping to serve with this is canned fruit cocktail. And you can use any other kind of canned fruit. 
I've tried uh, mandarin oranges, uh, you could use lychee nut, but the favorite is frucata. And this is in the heavy syrup. I couldn't find any that was in light syrup. And you, as you can see, this can has a lot of cherries, which is unusual. Let's see if Shadow likes it. Oh, she likes a bit of almond jello too. Thank you for watching everyone. See you next time. Eat well and be healthy.